welcome to this edition of back in history i do hope you're doing fine as always in back in history we take you down memory lane on a couple of events that have taken place in the human society in the course of time in nigeria and some countries in africa there is a popular brand of medicine known as alabokun it is locally made in nigeria and used for the treatment of a couple of ailments such as migraine, toothache, sore throat, prevention of blood clots, back pain, fatigue, and many other ailments. As a matter of fact, alabokun is a popular medicinal combination in Nigeria, and there is virtually no chemist or pharmacy or drug dispensary in Nigeria, for instance, that does not sell alabokun. Elderly people in Nigeria in their 70s and 80s and above have seen Alabokun for many years, right from when they were young. People in their middle ages have also seen Alabokun. The younger generation of Nigerians have also seen the medication. Alabokun is a small but important medicine, but which has transcended the various ages in the country. The fact that Alabokun is still available till today and is still very much in use and regularly prescribed by pharmacists and doctors also speaks a lot about its potency and efficacy in the treatment of named ailments. But what exactly is the story of this magic powder? Who invented it? Where is the inventor from? These and many more are the questions addressed in this episode of your favorite channel, Back in History. Alabokun was invented by Chief Jacob Shubayega Odulate. Chief Jacob was fondly called by close associates as Blessed Jacob. Chief Jacob was a pharmacologist who did not really have much of formal education, but he was a naturally gifted, and talented person. He was born in 1884 and lived and practiced his profession till 1962 when he passed on to the great beyond. It might interest you to know that Chief Jacob, the inventor of Alabokun, was the father of Chief Mrs. Fola Keshalanke, senior advocate of Nigeria, who happens to be the first female senior advocate of Nigeria and a one-time national president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Chief Jacob was born in Ikorudu in present-day Lagos State. At the time of his birth, the entity now known as Nigeria was under British colonial rule. It is reported that at the age of 14, Jacob left his father's house in Ikorudu and moved to Abeyekuta to stay with his relations there. While there, he came in contact with a pharmacist named Dr. Sapara. From his closeness to Sapara, Jacob learned some basic knowledge of natural curative products that could be locally sourced. His encounter with Dr. Sapara thus changed the course of his life and made him to remain relevant in the field of medicine till his death. Within a short period of time, Jacob had known so much in this area. He then took a decision to establish a manufacturing company which he named Alabokun. From this company, he had his hands on a number of products and patent drugs, but the most successful of them all has been the Alabokun powder. He invented Alabokun in 1918. For more than 100 years, the brand has remained relevant, selling in all parts of Nigeria, the Benin Republic, the Cameroon, Ghana, other countries in Africa, and some parts of Europe. Chief Jacob was married to Sekumade Abiodun Udulate. He made sure that his children were well educated 
and well groomed. Chief Jacob made so much money from his business, and from the return of his investment, he sent his children to study in Durham, Newcastle, the United States, and London to qualify as educationists, medical doctors, lawyers, and engineers. His children include Dr. Jacobson Odulate, an eye surgeon, Shegun Odulate, a physicist and business entrepreneur, Chief Fulake Solanke, Senior Advocate of Nigeria. Several brands have been manufactured in recent time as rival brands to Alabokun, but Alabokun still remains a popular brand among many persons in Nigeria and beyond. For as long as Alabokun continues to circulate, the memory of its inventor shall continue to remain in the hearts of many people in Nigeria, Africa, and the world. Many thanks for watching this episode of Back in History and do remember to subscribe to the channel for regular notifications on every new video.